Thunderbirds are back on the ice tonight, one day after the city unveiled new measures designed to help manage the high volume of traffic the city often has during big events downtown. Thanks for joining us on this Saturday night and welcome to Western Mass News 11 at 11. I'm Kristen Burnell. Western Mass News reporter Maria Wilson was there before the game to see how fans are reacting to the new plan. Maria? And I was in downtown Springfield as fans rolled in to watch the Thunderbirds take on the Providence Bruins. The T-Birds hitting the ice Saturday night looking to add one more win to this season's record. Also in the win column for many fans, traffic ease. On Friday night, the City of Springfield implemented a new traffic management plan, an effort to ease the traffic nightmare that many events, like the Thunderbirds games, bring to downtown Springfield. And many fans tell Western Mass News they've already seen an improvement, but one fan tells us she's still doing what she can to avoid traffic. We stayed purposely kind of a couple blocks away and didn't mind taking the walk. It's beautiful out. <laughs> she also tells us the traffic issues in the past have made her and her family think twice before catching a game. That's why we didn't park in the MGM parking garage, because we know it's a tighter space and there's you know one accident and out base. Mayor Sarno and other city leaders unveiled plans on Tuesday, which included added police to direct vehicle and pedestrian traffic. A measure one fan says has made a big difference to her. I just noticed that there's a crossing guard. I was like, not really a crossing guard. It's really helping us cross the street. But last year, there was none. It's much safer now seeing the police officers. Aside from the on-street parking, there are less than 9,000 parking spots in downtown Springfield. Keanu Valise tells me she wants to see that change and urges the city to add more spots. We also reached out to Springfield Police, Mayor Dominic Sarno's office, and MGM for an update on the new traffic plan that is, at, that is in place, but we have not heard back. For now, reporting in studio, Maria Wilson, Western Mass News.